Hello, this is Nick with NickScomputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to download and install iTunes in Windows 10 and it's free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up Microsoft Edge within Windows 10 and going out to the internet and we want to go to this internet address apple.com forward slash iTunes forward slash download and I'll have this address in my description area as well. Now let's go down here and these are checked off by default. Um, if you want to receive Apple updates and Apple news, leave these checked and also your email address, you can put that in there and then click on download now. In Microsoft Edge, we get this prompt down here that says it's downloading and normally it doesn't take too long depending on the speed and performance of your computer and your internet provider speed as well. Now once it's completed downloading I'll get a message that tells me that it's finished and I can come over here and click on view downloads or click on run. I'm going to go ahead and click on run and that will begin the installation process of iTunes on my computer and that opens up the iTunes installation window for me and let's go ahead and close out Microsoft Edge so we can see this a little bit more clearly. At this point I'm going to go ahead and click on Next and they give me some options up here. I'm going to take the defaults and click on Install and once I do I get this message here from Windows uh, Security that basically asks me do I want to allow this program to install itself on my computer and I'm gonna say yes and it will go ahead and continue installing iTunes onto my laptop computer here and through the magic of video editing I've speeded this up considerably but this can take up to a few minutes depending on the speed and performance of your computer and once it's done you get this message and um, there's a check mark up here that says uh, allow uh, iTunes to open up once you click on finish and I'm going to go ahead and leave it checked and click on finish and that will open up iTunes for me and I get this um, Apple um, agreement here that uh, I need to agree to and I suggest you do read it and click on agree and once that's done it'll go ahead and open up iTunes on your computer for you and the first screen you get is the iTunes welcome screen where you get a choice after reading the intro to click on no thanks or agree I'm gonna click on agree and I hope you do too and then you get the next screen which basically allows you to scan for media or go to the iTunes store. I'm going to go ahead and click on iTunes store and open that up. And at this point you can go ahead and start using iTunes and download music. Alright, let me go ahead and close this out. And one last thing to mention that when the installation completed it also placed an iTunes um, icon on your desktop so you can easily open it up at any time you choose to. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Subscribe and like my video.